become the beauty and the rainbow and the promise that God gave to creation. Everyone becomes one. But we never lose our identity and how God specifically created us. But then all of a sudden, the strength of the black community, I can learn from them. I can grow from them. The strength of the white community, I can grow from them. The strength of the Hispanic community, I can learn. My weaknesses, they are going to be my strength. So I can take hold of their strength as well. And that is what God created. To never separate, but to bring together to fulfill the beauty of the kingdom of God. First, we need to recognize that some of our brothers and sisters are mourning because of the injustice that has been going on. Romans 12, 15 says this, Rejoice when those rejoice and mourn with those who mourn. We need to stand alongside of them. We need to be there for them. We need to repent. Second is to examine your heart and begin to teach and educate yourself and your children and those around you on God's perspective. No, the Lord has told us what is good and what is right. What he requires of us is this, to do what is just to show constant love and to live in humble fellowship with him. So let's begin to pray for justice. Let's begin to carry out justice in our actions. But do it with absolute love. With absolute love. And then how do we walk humbly before him? We surrender to his perspective. No matter what race, no matter what culture we come from, no matter what family we come from, we surrender to his perspective.